we are all so afraid of being rejected that most of the time in situations like networking, we don't even put ourselves out there. And how many times has this happened to everybody? Uh, where you go out and you say, okay, I'm gonna go and network. And so you go out there and then you don't even talk to anybody, right? You sit in the back like a wallflower. Or, you know what, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna bring somebody with me and the two of us will network. And so now the two of you sit in the back and you eat the crappy food and you don't talk to anybody or you do some minimal, minimal conversation, shake some hands and maybe you gave out four or five business cards and the next day you say, hey, look at me, I networked. Well, that's crap, okay? If you're going to be serious about moving your career forward and your business forward, you need to get really good at networking. And so what I want to do is, I, first I want to talk about why we're feeling the way we're feeling and how to get past it. And, and some, I'm going to give you three tips on what you can do to really drive your networking success through the roof, okay? So first, I want to talk about why we feel the way we feel, right? I read a book years ago from Eckhart Tolle called The Power of Now. And what he talks about is that when we get into situations like fear, and rejection, what we're doing is we're reverting back to the time when we were most insecure. And for most of us, that's like high school, junior high, when we were dealing with probably the most rejection. We were just trying to feel, uh, figure our place in the world. And you know, we dealt with rejection after rejection. And maybe that was just me, but for most of us, that was true. So when we're feeling this way as adults, that's what we're just so terrified of, of jumping in and having a conversation because, oh no, somebody's going to reject me. Get over it. Right? So that's the first tip, is get over yourself. Deal with it. Grow up, be an adult, go out and start making connections. Because you know what? It's tough. But if you're serious about your goals in your business and providing for your family or whatever your specific goals are, you need to get out and you need to connect with other people. That's how the world works, right? It's through trust and relationships. So get over yourself, go out and do it. Now, some people ask me, well, people are rude. I don't want to go out and have some people rude to me. Well, you know what? Life's tough. And sometimes people are going to be rude, but if you go out with a goal of talking to at least five to ten people, guaranteed some of them are going to be great. Now, if ten people are all rude to you, it's probably not the group you want to be involved in, so it's really easy. Get out of there. Find a group where people are serious about connecting. So get out there and just put yourself out there. Now, the second tip I'm going to give you guys is two words. Give first. Everything that you do in a networking situation, you need to figure out how you can give first in that situation. When you're talking to somebody, think about maybe insights that you can offer them in a challenge that they're telling you about. Think about um, you know, maybe resources you could provide for them, like a blog post or a video, or an article you can send. But what you want to do is don't do the old school where we're just waiting for our turn to jump in and try and impress people. Um, and that's what's really uh, people struggle with is because we're trying to talk, talk, talk. But what we need to be doing is listening and offering value, right? So do that first and foremost before you do anything is figure out how you can give first in that conversation and things will just start happening for you really quickly. The third and probably most powerful tool that I'm going to give you is everybody that you're talking to, think about how you can incorporate them into a three-way conversation with somebody else. Now this might be just two people that you've met but how can you take those two people and connect them? At some point in your conversation, you're gonna find some kind of a commonality, or if you're really good at this stuff, you can ask good questions. And now I'm gonna do another video about some things that you can do, some questions you can ask, ways to build connectivity really quickly. But for this point, really just start in the natural conversation, where are those commonalities and how can you connect somebody with somebody else? And just stop everything and say, hey, you and you, I wanna introduce you. Now it does some really powerful things for you in that moment. First, it positions you as a connector. It's you're somebody of influence and it drives your social capital through the roof. And the other thing it does is it takes the focus off of you and it puts it on them. So that now you're just basically a conversation starter and anytime it stalls, you get to kick it up a notch and people look at you with just a, with great praise and you're helping them get over all of those insecurities that we all feel. So you're basically like the insecurity smasher. Fantastic term, just made it up. The goal is not to just get out and do networking. The goal is to go out and make connections that you can then take offline because the, the beauty of everything is to go and start maybe setting up some coffees or client meetings, whatever it is. But I would suggest start with some coffees. I'm gonna do some other things about um, what coffees can do for you, but um, set those coffees up and now apply those three rules to, to coffees as well. First, you gotta put yourself out there and ask for it and you gotta set it up, you gotta do it. Secondly, in that meeting, how can you give first? 
And thirdly, can you bring somebody else in on that conversation when you go for coffee? How many of you are going to step up to that challenge and invite a third person to a coffee and say, hey, I want you to meet so-and-so. Let's all sit down and have a great coffee and chat. Some amazing things have happened in my career and in my business just by incorporating more people into the discussion and keep it casual. Right? So I look forward to hearing what you all have to say about this process and, and the results that you've had and the, and the successes you've had, but I also want to hear some of the, the crap that you've had to deal with by putting yourself out there and, and let's really talk about our fears uh, around this subject.